So guys, this is going to be a great video. Um, some of the videos I make, some of you guys might think, oh my God, he's picking on me. Oh my God, it's horrible what he's saying or, or whatever. And honestly, it's never like that. Like never. I might be hard on you guys. I might be like, if you tell the raw truth the way I do, bro, you're going to feel that way. And the way you feel is not always how things actually are. Because my only intention in any single video is to help. Help, 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 help. Whether you take things a certain way and feel offense or you paint me as a bit, it's never like that. Never. So, this is going to be a great video. This video is going to help a lot of women understand men a lot better. Because a lot of women do not understand men. A lot of you don't. And this video is also going to bring a lot of clarity to men as well and you guys will learn a lot from this video as well so let's get right into this I got two different scenarios I'm going to break down <clears throat> where women initially go wrong with men so let's say you're a woman you're talking to a man and you first start talking to him right off the get-go the talking stage here you go If you want this guy to take you serious, if you want things to work out, you have to know exactly what you're doing. Because if you do things the wrong way, it's not going to end well. There's two different scenarios. Scenario number one. You're the woman that... You're talking to this guy for an extended period of time. You say you want to hang out. You say you want to do these things. You say you finally want to get together. Let's say you never hung out with the guy yet. Three months goes on. You never hung out with him yet. You're making a huge mistake because things should never take that long. If you, and like, let's say, in my case, I was talking to a girl it went on for like three months. She asked me to hang out first. Let's go to this place. Okay, very best. I'm down. Anytime. Let's make it happen. And I had a feeling that nothing was ever going to come to. Not because she didn't actually want to, but the fact that she is nervous. She don't want to mess up. You hang out for the first time. She don't want to look shy. She don't want to look stupid. Blah, blah, blah. A lot of women are afraid. Some are not. I've hung out with many, many, many girls in my life that were just simply not afraid. Some are. And I could tell this one was. So, things went on and on and on. And finally, like I, I let her get comfortable. I let her ask me. Like, you're supposed to ask her to hang out first. I let her get comfortable because I knew She's nervous. I knew it. I let her ask me to hang out first, to go to this place first. Okay. Perfect. That's what I was honestly waiting for. I was going to ask you this. But I could kind of tell. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. I don't want to freak her out. I don't want to get head over heels here. So she did it. Time went on a little bit more. A week went by and you know what? I jumped in. I set a date, let's do this at this time. And then the excuses start. So I talked to this girl for that, that long of a time, three months plus, nothing happened. That's a big mistake. This girl wanted to continue on, but I didn't. That's the number that, that that's that's one mistake women can make with men just say you're not ready instead of letting things go on that long it should not take that long for you to get comfortable i think any woman knows that themselves that's just too much the guy is going to cut you off i cut her off i can no longer do this if you want to do something you can hit me back up 
you can double text me. You can ask me to hang out and we can actually make it happen. Until then, I'm going my way. See you later. That's a big mistake. That's number one. A man will cut you off if you take that route. If you're kind of nervous of him, if you're scared, if you don't want to look stupid, if you need everything to be perfect, you're just going to get cut off. Another reason why that will happen is because he don't want to get played around. He don't want to be friend zoned. He don't want to give you all his time and attention while he's getting nothing at all in return. As a woman, you benefit from that dearly. He does not benefit at all. At all. A man does not benefit from talking to some random woman just because. Like, that's the last thing a man could benefit from. So that's the first mistake. Now we're going to flip it around and we're going to look at it the opposite way. It is also a mistake as a woman. Number two scenario that happened to me. Back in 2020, just before the big COVID out, out, outbreak happened. This is the second weekend of February. I remember like it was yesterday. I went out after I was at a hockey rink watching one of my mates play hockey at a pretty high level. I had a bottle of wine waiting in the vehicle and we left the rink when that was done. We took off to Charlottetown. We went to the club. And I met this girl there, never saw her in my life, didn't know her name, nothing. I didn't even know her name, and we left that club together. It did not take long when I first initially saw her for us to just link up, go downstairs, little things are happening. I don't even want to get into detail, but things happen. All of a sudden we leave, go back to her place, and all her things happen, if you know what I mean. This girl was 20 years old, I was 24 at the time. And I didn't even know this girl's name, bro. So if you are a woman, and you get with a guy that quick, and you let him do that, because guess what, if you're a young attractive female like that, and you want to give that up, you know what I mean, you want to give that up, any guy is going to take that a country mile and run with it. I'm just going to tell you that now. Because that's just what guys do. They're not going to deny that. So what happened? I left. Went back to my own spot. Drove home. It was like an hour long drive home for me. From where I was at. I let the liquor. I wasn't even. I didn't even drink that much. I let the liquor kind of wear off. Left in the middle of the night, went back home. She wanted me to stay. I'm like, nah, I'm going home. I don't want to wake up and have a long drive ahead of me. So I wake up in my own bed, Sunday morning. I look up my phone. Message from her. Open it. And at this time, of course, I know her name. I open it. She sent me a picture of a wedding dress, bro. I didn't even know her for 24 hours. I didn't even know this girl for 24 hours. Remember, I seen her Saturday night. This is Sunday morning. There's a picture of a wedding dress in the messages. Nothing else, just a picture of a wedding dress. Bro, get the fuck out of here. So the whole point of this video You're either going to scare a man off if you wait too damn long. You have all these complications. You're just not ready. So why are you even messing around to begin with? Why are you even trying to... It's like these girls that wait way too long. They're insecure. They, they, they want to make things like so perfect. Insecurities. That's why I had a dip. And this was a good looking girl. But I had a dip. I can't do that shit, bro. That's too much. You wait too long. You jump in the deep end way too quick. First thing I think about this girl. If she does this with me this quick, what the fuck else is this crazy bitch doing? You think he could take something like that serious? You think he could take someone serious 
that you didn't even know them for a 24 hour period and they're sending you a picture of a wedding dress initiating marriage in the future. You didn't even know them in 24 hours. That is a hellhound, bro. I screenshotted that, sent it to a few of my close friends. Not to just like make her make a fool out of her or nothing, just to see what they thought. I asked them, what do you think about this, bro? They were dying laughing, bro. As I was, to be honest. It was honestly a little bit creepy. It like felt dark and creepy, like what the fuck, bro? And this was a good looking girl, but <laughs> good looking isn't gonna cut it when it comes to you making her your girlfriend. So that's a big mistake women make. If you're a woman and you want to get it right, you don't want to wait too long, come off as insecure as if you don't want to hang out, but you actually do. You don't want to wait too long and you don't want to dive in the deep end that quick. Let You got to let things happen naturally. You got to let things kind of, you know, let's say you, I'm going to say this. Let's say you talk to a new person and you're talking heavily Maybe not heavily, 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 but heavily enough to the point where you're staying in touch every single day. Chatting here and there, you get into a few deep conversations within, within the days, not every day, but you get into a deep conversation here and there. By the time three weeks to a month, a month and a half goes by, you should, you should at least have hung out at least one time without a question of a doubt. Three weeks to a month and a half-ish, in that range, no earlier, no later. If anything, a little bit earlier than three weeks. No later than a month and a half. You want to hang out. And then you go you go from there. You get a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. If things are going good, they're going good. That's how you get a guy to take you serious. You don't get a guy to take you serious, and you don't succeed with men by waiting too damn long. They're just talking to you like giving you attention every single day and nothing's happening, nothing is changing, he's gonna get bored. I go fucking bored, bro. Like, I don't even enjoy it at this point talking to this girl because the conversations are now stupid. There's nothing to talk about because we're not hanging out, nothing's proceeding. I can't even get a feel on who this really is. I don't even know the fucking girl. So, you have to know not to wait too long. And not to dive into the deep end like that too early. Because this girl that dove into the deep end too early had high interest in me. Very high interest. By what all happened that night, by how things went. Way too much interest, to be honest. And it was a little bit creepy. Like, to me, that was like another Jezebel, bro. Like, trying to do all this stuff to really reel me in and think I'm just going to... Yeah, be involved with her. No, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. It's not going to go your way. It's not. You don't dictate how things go here. You're going to send me a picture of a wedding dress and shit like this. You don't dictate how things go here. You're out of your fucking mind. So, you will... A man will run away. Either situation. Situation number one. Situation number two. They're both equally as bad. You have to let things happen naturally. It's almost like you got to be in the middle of these situations. You don't let it go too long so you're about in the middle. And you don't dive in the deep end so you don't... So you're still in the middle. You know what I mean? You, you want to get things popping off at a medium rate. You let things happen naturally, they unfold. You don't restrict certain things for too long. You let things go the right way. And that's how attraction is built. There's not one sudden thing that just builds attraction. And there's not one sudden thing that like, nothing's happening for so long, things get boring and stale and it's gonna build attraction. No. Attraction is not built like this, and it's not built like when it's going like down, like things are taking way too long. So things are just going down, 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 down. 
But if you go up too quick, it's not going to do it either. You kind of you kind of got to like stay in the middle-ish area, almost like a heartbeat. Did it? Did it? Did it? Like you're kind of you got a rhythm going on with a person. You know what I mean? It makes sense. So it's a good point, man. I don't like like when people get in new relationships. Me looking at it from an outside perspective, I don't really like when people hit things off too 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 quick. And all of a sudden they know each other like they knew each other their whole lives. Just the odd time it might work, <clears throat> sometimes it is not going to work. You really got to get to know each other, bro. Like you can't, you can't be fucking around like that. People get too comfortable too quick. Everything gets revealed. There's no mystery involved. You kind of like you're both like desperate for like some kind of connection or relationship when you don't continue to do the things you were doing before that even happened. You have to stay on your path and purpose as a man or even a woman. You don't make someone your everything right away and you just dive in and it's like they're, they're the whole world. No. You keep doing what you're doing and you let things go at a medium rate. You don't let things get too high and you don't let things get too low. You keep that fire lit, you pour a little bit of gas in that fire, a little bit of gas in that fire. That's what keeps the fire going. You don't pour the whole fucking tank of gas in the fire because now you got no gas left. It might light right up like a Christmas tree, but it's going to come down. It's not going to stay lit like that. And if you pour no gas in the fire, it's going to go out real quick, so that guy's gone. This is the best way I can explain attraction. So I hope this video helped women. And even guys, a lot of you guys will understand that this is the truth. Come on, man. come on, man! Like you can't, you can't sit here and tell me you never saw a female in your life. I mean, you never saw this specific female in your life, and all of a sudden you see you you see this girl one night, never saw in your life, don't know her name, nothing, and you guys hit it off. You sleep with this girl that night. You can't sit here and tell me that wouldn't be sus. You're not going to see her as a high quality woman. Because what you're going to be thinking is, if I got her that quick, what the fuck else is this crazy bitch doing? Exactly. Like, it's, it's done. What happened is now done. That's what you call a one night stand and you get out. And things can happen. Like... If you go to a club, man, you have a couple drinks into you, they have a couple drinks into them, you just link up, you're having a good time, you're there, 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 it's an attractive female, you might be an attractive male, you link up, things will happen. Quite possibly. And it doesn't mean all of a sudden you're, you're now girlfriend and boyfriend, it's your person now, it doesn't mean anything, you don't even know the person. So for them to be acting real weird about it, that just makes things that much worse. I could see maybe you get with the person and they're, they're acting completely normal about it. They don't act weird. They're, you kind of kick things off after that and they're, they're slow about things, you're slow about things. Something could come out of that. But for the most part, all you guys know, if a woman gives something up like that, that fucking fast, you know something ain't right. It's a red flag, especially when she starts acting weird after what just went down, sending you pictures of wedding dresses and shit, thinking it's gonna be your future wife in the near, in, in the near, in the, in the, in the near future. Like, nah, dog. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. Like, what happened last night was the heat of the moment. Things happen. So, I think this was a great video. I think a lot of people can learn from this video. It all makes sense. And like I said, guys, when it comes to attraction, things got to be like this, like a kind of like a heartbeat. Like things are going up and things go down a little bit, up and down, up and down. The fire's lit. The fire. When when you see a fire lit, it, it doesn't say the exact same height. Little flames go up a little bit. Flames come down a little bit. It might go up a little bit. Come down a little bit. Go up a little bit. Down a little bit. 
whatever, man. The flame never completely dies down and the flame doesn't just ignite like crazy and stay like that. If you pour a lot of gas on the fire, it's gonna come down eventually. Out of gas, eventually the fire's gonna come down. Whatever. So, this is how attraction works. This is how you can actually keep a man or even as a man, keep a woman. Like, things have to be going good. There's a few times that I had a few different things going on with a few different females, like I mentioned. Number one, number two, they kind of mess things up with me. And I've also had many other situations where I was dating different girls and especially like the exes and stuff like that in the past where things went exactly how I explained, like things were, while they were good, they were good. Things happened, but while it was going down, it was good. They didn't mess things up. I didn't mess things up. I always kind of knew instinctually how attraction works, what to do. I'm just naturally like a smooth kind of guy when it comes to stuff like that. And the girls I was actually with for a long period of time were the same way. We both understood each other. We both understood the assignment. There you go. So you guys got the video. I hope this can help. Um, <clears throat> a lot of women don't understand like how attraction really works. Your man is going to be 10 times more attractive to you if you actually know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing and you think, well, he wants me to do this, he wants me to do that, oh, I'll just do it or, or whatever. Like, like, people take wrong things sometimes. People take wrong information sometimes and think what they do is going to work. And it's not going to work. The only way it's going to work is the way I explain it. It's not going to work any other way. It's just not. There might be differences, but it has to be kind of the way I explained. If it's not that way, it's not going to work. There has to be respect there between both the guy and the girl. There has to be a respect there. If there's no respect there, it's done. I can't respect a female who is hella insecure, who acts like they want to hang out. They really do, but they can't make it. They can't do it. They're afraid. They flake in the day. I can't respect that. It's not that you're not a good looking female. It's not that you're not good enough and you might not be. I can't respect just what you're doing. I have to get out of here because I respect myself. I respect my own time. And I also cannot respect a female who dives into the deep end because what else are you diving into? And sending pictures of wedding dress and fucking just wilding, bro. Like, how can you respect that? You can't. So at the end of the day, guys, <clears throat> it comes down to respect. If you can respect yourself, other people can respect you. If you don't have any respect for yourself, if you don't have confidence in yourself, other people can't either. So that's it.